once mighty forests turned to ash. Here in Myanmar's Bago Mountains, locals are burning the last remnants after logging firms swept across the landscape in search of precious hardwoods like teak. Everything now a smouldering ruin, and all the animals who lived here now gone. They plan to plant more trees, but these will take decades to grow. They were cut down by timber companies. There used to be many beautiful trees. Myanmar has some of the largest areas of pristine forest in Asia, providing shelter and food for rural communities. It's home to countless species, including the rare snub-nosed monkey, caught on film for the first time ever earlier this year. There are thought to be only around 300 left in the wild. Logging, both legal and illegal, exploded under the previous junta regime, fueled by corruption, cronyism and conflicts in border areas. The UN says the country lost almost 20% of its forest cover between 1990 and 2010. A new reformist government is supporting two national parks and has recently imposed a ban on raw log exports, but conservationists are skeptical. Myanmar's illegal trade is huge, and right now we're monitoring trucks going across the border to China, and there are hundreds crossing every day, the largest that's ever been recorded in history. The problem is, is that Myanmar's borders are so large and so porous, it's very, very difficult to monitor. As it opens to the world, Myanmar has a huge fight on its hands to stop the plundering of its natural resources and to protect what is left for future generations.